At the end of the day, vendor neutral networking certs are just generally not as useful as vendor specific networking certs. Hey everyone, in this short video, I'm going to break down the CCNA certification and the CompTIA Network Plus certification, explain the differences and why the CCNA is generally the right choice for people pursuing a career in network engineering. Now, regardless of if you're looking to pick up networking as an additional skill, this video should help you. I'm going to explain these two certifications and their major differences. I'm going to compare the number of job opportunities for entry level roles. I'm going to talk about career growth potential and what it looks like on a CompTIA path with Network Plus versus the Cisco CCNA path. And I'm going to close by telling you why in the networking industry, vendor neutral certifications like Network Plus are just not quite as useful as hands-on vendor aligned certifications like Cisco. Let's start with the differences. CCNA, the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification, is a leading networking cert by the hardware and software vendor Cisco. This cert teaches you hands-on networking skills and networking theory all in one. The great thing about this cert is that you'll understand the very fundamentals of TCIP and networking, but you'll also understand how to apply that knowledge in a Cisco networking environment. By contrast, Network Plus is more of a theory heavy cert because it positions itself as a vendor neutral certification. Now, theory isn't bad, but generally speaking, when you're looking for an entry level job, theory knowledge is not going to be enough to break in to the field. Hiring managers want people that understand the theory of the technology, but also that they can trust to get hands on and start applying that knowledge in a real world environment. And this is exactly why the CCNA is generally a better cert for people trying to break into the networking field. In my mind, there's actually almost no scenarios where I would recommend somebody to do the network plus over the CCNA, maybe in a situation where you never want to get hands on with networking technology and you just want to understand the theory. In that case, network plus might be a good choice. But I would just caution you that there are not that many roles where just knowing networking theory is going to be a huge benefit. It's going to be much more beneficial to you in your career if you understand how to apply networking theory with hands-on skills that you would learn with a certification like the CCNA. By the way, this video ain't sponsored. I'm just trying to look out for people studying certifications so that way you can focus on doing what's going to move the needle and open up doors to land job opportunities. So let's talk about the number of opportunities available between these two certifications. I've done searches on LinkedIn and Indeed based on the numbers for entry-level jobs that are available in the US. Entry-level jobs requiring the CCNA are almost three to five times more common than entry-level jobs that require a network plus. So if your goal is to get your foot in the door by the data, CCNA is absolutely gonna be the right choice. Why? Well, that's because, like I mentioned before, hiring managers want hard skills. They don't just want a candidate with networking knowledge. They want a candidate with a proven ability to apply that knowledge. Getting your CCNA is a great way to prove that you understand some theory and that you can apply that to a vendor's set of technology, whether it be Cisco or some other networking technology vendor. The second angle here is pay and career growth. If you look at how much people with Network Plus certification are making versus people with CCNA are making. The CCNA is generally a higher paid cert than the network. Plus, even though they're at relatively similar difficulties. Another benefit from a career growth perspective of the CCNA is that you have a track to continue advancing your education. So if you really enjoy networking, if you start with the CCNA, you can always level up over time with more advanced certs like the CCMP, the professional level networking cert from Cisco or the CCIE, which is the granddaddy of them all when it comes to networking certifications. The Network Plus cert, on the other hand, doesn't really have that depth that you would be able to continue to pursue after the Network Plus. And so if you wanted to go all in on networking after you learned the Network Plus material, you would actually probably end up going back and getting the CCNA anyway, which is why I would suggest just skip the Network Plus and go straight for the CCNA. It's what I did and it worked out pretty well for me. And by the data, the CCNA is just a more valuable cert in this current job market. 
Last thing on this point, network engineers respect network engineers with hands-on networking certs. As a network engineer myself and all of my friends who are network engineers, we generally put more weight in certifications that are vendor aligned, like Cisco certs or cloud networking certs or Juniper networking certs. And this is because, again, these certs prove not just that you could memorize test answers and understand some theory, but that you actually were able to get hands-on with networking technology during your studies. And this brings me to my final point, why vendor neutral certifications are just generally not quite as useful as vendor specific certifications. I know it sounds good in theory to get a vendor neutral certification because it seems like you could then apply that knowledge to a lot of different areas. The problem is if you just know the theory and you've never applied it anywhere, it can actually be difficult to transition theoretical knowledge into hands-on configuration, engineering, troubleshooting, and design of, for example, a network. Vendor neutral networking certs are just generally not as useful as vendor specific networking certs. Because at the end of the day, if you're learning network technology, you're going to have to apply it to some vendor or open source implementation of that networking tech. I encourage you to consider getting a certification that's aligned to a vendor that will teach you both the theory and the hands-on implementation because that's gonna prepare you for your first networking role much better than just knowing the theory. It's also gonna force you to start to learn really important concepts like CLIs and how to configure routing protocols and layer two protocols in a real network environment. Great thing about Cisco is because it's such a popular certification and there's such a big ecosystem of trainers and learners underneath the Cisco umbrella. Pretty easy to find things like labs and simulations and uh, practice tests and training material online so you can learn really efficiently and get the certification and knowledge knocked out in a pretty reasonable timeline. So in summary, if you're trying to break into networking, go ahead and skip the Network Plus. It's not a bad cert. It's just not as useful as your CCNA. And if you have the time and money to invest in learning a new certification and skill like networking, I think that time would absolutely be best spent focusing on the leading networking certification, which is the CCNA for entry-level networking certifications, rather than Network Plus, which is, in my opinion, a more watered down networking certification that just isn't as useful or beneficial when it comes to trying to land your first job in networking or network engineering. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to connect with me and other folks like me who like to help people advance their tech careers, I'd love for you to join me on my Discord channel, the Techie Mentor Network. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. It's a free community where you can come ask questions. We host regular talks with our community to try to help people grow their careers. We don't do this for the money. We don't do it to sell you anything. We do it because we just like helping people make decisions to advance their IT career. Like and subscribe if you want to see more tech career content like this from me. And until next time, take it easy. Bye.